My name is Zach Taylor. I'm a gastroenterologist and I've been practicing in Memphis now since I returned home from the Navy in 1991. I went to a saline solution in California that Bill Peel and Walt Larimore conducted, and it was eye-opening for me. And through that, I learned ways where I could share my faith. I learned what things like faith flags were. And I learned that there are ways that you can share Christ in your practice in not only a non-offensive way, but a way that is, is helpful to the patient. I learned that you can pray with people. You can pray with patients sometimes when they're not believers themselves. And to date, I don't believe I've had a single patient who said no when I asked them if I could pray for them. And through the years, you develop your own way of doing this. Jesus brings out a spirit in you that allows you to, to, to testify what he does in your life. Witnessing to me is not necessarily pounding someone over the head with my faith, but what it is, is sharing with them, sometimes in the worst situations they can be in, just what he's done and his sacrifice and the joy and the abundant life he brings and the hope. Because when patients come to us, ultimately what they're really looking for is hope. The world has a view of healthcare now that's that's actually deteriorating. The world sees healthcare as as a losing game. We see it differently. CMDA nurtures a different thought. That thought that it nurtures is that there still remains no profession, no profession that can impact people for the kingdom of Christ as healthcare does. We as physicians have an opportunity to bring people and their diseases to the Lord. It allows us to see things through different lenses. I speak with the medical students at their Wednesday forum once or twice a year. It is always the highlight of the year for me. I wish I could do more. I enjoy the, the youth, the exuberance, but most of all, I enjoy the fact that these students early in their career are learning not just the practice of medicine or dentistry, they're learning how to incorporate their faith into it. And it's so important because the world wants to teach them a different lesson. It wants to teach them, get ahead, make money, do what you can, be prolific, whether it's in research or writing. And if it's your faith, put it in the backyard. CMDA says just the opposite. Put your faith in front of you and practice with your faith as the, the impetus and the stimulus and the basis of why you're doing your profession in the first place. We well, you know I would like for all of us in our field of medicine to stop and think and think where the money we make goes to. We can invest that money in things that are very temporal, that may give us fleeting satisfaction and in and of themselves are not bad, but just don't last. Or we can invest what we have in something that is permanent. We can invest what we have in these students. Our lives, our time, and our money. And, and I think we should all ask, when we turn around in 20 years and we look back, where did our investment go? And did we build treasures in heaven? When patients come to us, they usually begin with a health issue or a symptom. They want to be healed. They want to feel better. But usually, and in almost every situation, they're looking for you to look deeper than just their physical problem and to understand their suffering. They want you to have compassion and empathy. And that's a very difficult thing to do from a strictly self-secular standpoint. When you can offer people hope, when you can tell them that hope goes deeper than physical health, that's a truth that people understand. And I find no way, I find no way to offer hope without Jesus. People get it. I want to be a complete physician. And in doing so, I want to take care of people the best I can. It's physically, 
emotionally and spiritually. And I can learn a lot about how to take care of people physically. CMDA helps me to understand how to take care of people spiritually and how to nurture the soul. It helps me to understand the place of Christ in my profession.